I don't really know what to say. Tonight might be, might just be a complete train wreck. Uh, it's been very busy, St. Phil Cup, right around the corner. I assume by the time you guys see this, the St. Phil Cup's over. Is that right? Does that sound right? Yeah. St. Phil Cup's wide over, and man, what a great tournament it was. It was fantastic. Uh, I loved every second of it, and I couldn't believe that one guy played, pulled out that real big win right in the clutch. It was great. Um, so I've just been, I've been busy. Uh, I've, I spent the, uh, the last 10 minutes before this lecture. I had about, I had about three grandmasters, you know, pretty decent ones helping me out with this lecture. So hopefully I remember anything. Maybe I won't, maybe I can't set the first puzzle up, I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> so I was giving it to them and, and seeing you know, which one of them were able to solve it. We're gonna go over some simple studies. I'll attempt to set it up uh, on the board here. It, it's white to move and there's only one solution. So, uh, I think this was the position. So there was uh, one of our employees here, Richard Pointer. He's this classic coordinator. He was showing this to a player rated about 2100 in the club. He, uh, the 2100 was able to solve it in about an hour. And I guess you're on the internet, so you know who he is, he's Julian. Uh, so Richard showed Julian, it took Julian about an hour. So at home, you may wanna you know, pause the video right now, take a look, try to see. It's a uh, white to play and win. And uh, I'll just talk a minute about studies and I, I guess why they're important. Um, so people have different ranges on studies. So I've, I've, you know, I'm always fascinated based on people's approach to studies, how they feel about them. I've noticed that the lower rated you are, the more you dislike studies. It feels artificial. This is the puzzle. You know, this will never happen in a real game. Um, and this is a, a rather simple one. I mean, puzzles can be quite extravagant with all sorts of really tiny invisible moves that are are impossible to see. But you know, solving it. Uh, is, is a real task, that it's, it's not the kind of thing that people think, oh, it's not practical. But on the other hand, it does, the point of a study is to really illustrate in dramatic fashion a really important point about chess. Uh, so in this case, it's gonna be um, what, what to do when there's the bishop of, I, I can't, make, can't make things, I don't have, I can make things, okay. When the bishop is in the wrong color for the corner. So this one is, I guess, easy to kind of understand the idea of what white needs to do. He needs to make a queen. Um, some studies, it's, you look at it for a while and you don't even really understand what the theme is. So tonight's theme is going to be bishops and of, opposite, you know, of the wrong square and uh, pawns that are trying to get to that square and make a queen. So it's gonna be about preventing black from doing his defensive maneuver. So I, I'll just ask the class really quick. If you were black, and this is sort of an important point, you know, you're giving the, the move to your opponent, what is black's defensive task here? What does black need to do to secure the draw? Yeah. How do you get to the corner? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he needs to just get the king in the corner. So if the king lands in the corner, it's uh, going to be a well-known draw. You can just shuffle back and forth. Um, ooh, it's on for you. That's good. Um, so that is, that is the task. I will be quiet for about five minutes. And I'll come back and talk. Um, so 2100 player couldn't, uh, couldn't, took about an hour, you know, at least one grandmaster was unable to solve it and one grandmaster was able to solve it in one second. Uh, so, uh, de it depends on how well you guys, you know, how much practice you've had doing studies, obviously, but I'll, I'll, I'll be quiet here for about five minutes and, uh, give the audience a chance, pause your videos at home. Uh, so I've, you know, I've been with some of the, the best chess players in the world, even recently too, and I've kind of been talking to them about studies lately. And that seems to be almost exclusively what some of these guys are doing. So the best players in the world, has, this is how they're getting better, they're, they're doing studies. I assume, I, I, was, I almost got to ask Fabiano, but he was a little bit busy, uh, for these puzzles just to see how fast he could solve it, because uh, Varakobian was here, yeah, one second. Easy, easiest puzzle he's ever seen in his life. And it was so easy that he's like, well, here's the same theme, different puzzle, you know, and I, I showed the spin fine gold and it was pretty easy. And he's like, yeah, you know, here's a, a different puzzle that, you know, same theme, but harder, easier, you know. Uh, so yeah, so also if it were Black's turn, let's just, let's try to illuminate a couple of the, the options here. If it were Black's turn, what move would he play? Yeah. King G1. So he is threatening just to go here. And even if you move your bishop, I just take your pawn and it's a draw. So, okay, you pretty much have to move the bishop. If you move the king anywhere, well, then the king just goes and gets your pawn. Um, so you got to move your bishop. So that's, 
That's the first part of the, the puzzle. So the question is going to be where, and you're going to have to think a little bit farther into the, the future to see how you're going to have to blockade the Black King from getting to h8. And it's obviously unfair for the class, because <laughs> uh, you won't get as much time as you can take at home. Um, so in our, in our heads, hopefully we're calculating some bishop move. Obviously, we have, we have to move our bishop somewhere. And then, OK, you can start calculating. This, this pawn is going to start going like this. And the king is going to start you know, approaching and trying to run to the corner, etc. So see how far you can go with that. So you can even somehow imagine to just put the bishop somewhere far away in your mind and start pushing the pawn in your head. And then go king here, pawn, king, and then try to uh, figure out where you'll need your, your bishop. You can kind of figure that out in the future where it's going to need to be to cut off the king. So if, if in, your, in your head you just play the move h4 here, jumping over your own bishop, and you start seeing how it works out. Uh, okay, because right, uh, this is going to be your next move. Let's pretend the bishop's out of the way. So you can imagine black's next move is going to be here. And white's move is, is going to be here. So it's like, where do you need your bishop? So keep going. The pawn pushes. King approaches, etc. cetera. Uh, if, for example, I mean, bishop f1. Let's just see what happens when we have this little race here in our heads. OK, so the king goes to e3, and we push. Now, I'll, I have to just get to this corner. So I'm going to go this way. And OK, so if you. Don't push, I'm going to make it. So we can kind of see we get about that far. All right. So this would not be the solution. Because obviously, if you go here, we're not going to take the bishop and let you go make a queen. <laughs> I wonder if there's a reason why they're not anywhere else. Well, how are we going to hear the, the little kids? They're screaming. You can hear them anywhere. Yeah. Right, that's good. <laughs> and is that. I actually might put the podium a little bit closer, if that's, that's cool with you, just so that it picks up maybe on the mic. Right, it won't affect you, but I, you know, yeah, we got kids crying. I don't want to, I don't want to. Yeah, my kid didn't get to go to this class tonight. I'm, it's kind of sad. Uh, I don't know. He's busy, busy man, very busy. You get, you're very busy at four. Has Chess ever made your children cry? No, I don't think it's made them cry. It's made them run away. But that's, you know, I mean, it's, it's a boring game. It's a boring game. Who would ever want to play chess? Sure. So let's just get ourselves to the corner. Uh, wow, that was an interesting sound. Did you like that sound? I don't know. What was it? I don't know. We don't know. Let's just get ourselves to the corner. We're just, we're just going to get to the corner. OK, so if we get, uh, achieve this position, we'll even, all right, we're really, really close to making a queen. Uh, you'll never actually be able to get the, the king to move out of there so that you can make a queen. Now, if the bishop were a different color, you would be able to go protect the pawn with your king, then check the king out of the corner, and you'd be able to force your, your way in. Uh, you know, you could keep the pawn here, and you can imagine you get your, queen, your king over here. But it's, it's not the right color. So in this, let's just. I'm just going to keep waiting in the corner. You can get as close as you want with any of your, your pieces. But you'll notice you're never going to be able to push. Uh, doesn't you're like it. You're doing a take back move instead of a forward move. So it's, oh, it's, yeah, so it's a thing. Yeah, it's kind of complicated. So, right <laughs> so whose turn is it? Right, it's white. Flag. Here now it's, it's flag, okay. Now it's white. Flag. Okay, so let's go in the corner. And so even if we get here, You'll notice you can never force me out of here. So right now, I don't have any turns to move. So if you try to get closer, you're going to end up stalemating the Black King. The king just stays in the corner, and you're never able to force him out. Um, and so I mean, you can leave the pawn here and try to do the same thing. But OK, I just stay in the corner. And if you ever end up trying to attack th that square, it's going to be stalemate. So even if you, you wait for me to go to that square voluntarily and you check me, I'm going to go back to the corner, and I have no moves. So if you keep your bishop on this diagonal, it's going to be stalemate. So it's a very cool defensive trick to know about, 
Even though you have a pawn and a bishop, you are unable to win the game. Um, if you know, the bishop were the other color, it would be a lot easier because you would put your bishop on this diagonal and then the king would be forced to run towards the A-file. You know, you'd, you'd be forced to go in that, that other direction. So, so very, very cool element in the position. And that's sort of like part of the beauty of these studies is that there's, you know, usually you know kind of what you're doing now, but it's, it's always really rewarding when you're able to solve a study. You know, even one of this complexity that I think is challenging for any class player, I think it's, it's not a, an easy puzzle at all. Um, if it even is a puzzle, maybe there's no right name. Maybe it's a draw, who knows. Maybe I, I think I've set this one up right, though. <laughs> the more I look at it, the more I, I think I know what the answer is. Um, so yeah, so again, we're just we're thinking back in this position, and we're, we're just trying to figure out where we need that bishop. We're calculating the race. So just in my head, I've already visualized the king here. The bishop is somewhere. I, I play h4, and then it's black to move. Um, and then so if you can figure out the diagonal, the square that you're going to need to prevent the king from going to, you can solve this. So does anybody, we've had a little bit of time now, does anybody have uh, any possible guesses? <laughs> or has anybody actually solved it? Yeah. Is it as simple as bishop g4? Bishop g4. Okay. So could this be it? So as black, I mean, I've got to go to the corner, so I'll go here. Okay, I'll go here. So, yeah, I, I, were you thinking about if I go here, you can cut me off with the king? I assume that was your, your little trick. But yeah, I don't care about your bishop. I'm just trying to get to the corner. So hopefully I can make it now. Yeah, did you have an idea? Bishop g2. Bishop g2. Okay. So if I take, you're going to push and make a queen. So I don't take it. Okay. Did you have an idea here? No? You had no idea? You know, and so now I guess if you push, I mean, I'm coming in. Yeah, even if you cut me off, you know, please take my bishop. Uh, nope. I run to the corner and it's going to be a draw. Bishop d7. Okay, I go here. Uh huh. Oh, go here. Or no, I'm just joking. Just joking. I'll go here. Uh, yeah, if here, here. Okay, I'll go here. <clears throat> Okay, I will go here. I'm gonna beat you with a stick. <laughs> That's a violent class. <laughs> Right, so I'm glad my kid isn't there. It sounds like it's it's yeah, it's getting pretty violent. Are you following me, Ben Simon? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, parent parents are incensed. <laughs> oh, poor Andrew. <laughs> uh, he's like, here, he's like, here. Do you want to play with the knight? It's like... Bishop e8. Okay, I'm gonna. Try to get to that corner. Yeah, and that's that's the solution. Yeah, Michael Pugachev. Um, so there's really no good move here for black. Uh, and then your next move is to push again. I have to move away. So you can go here, and, and then you push, and your next move is making a queen. Okay, have my bishop. That's fine. You got it. Yeah, Michael Pugachev. You got that, Julian? Yeah, Michael showed you up. He showed you up. All right, very good job. And so that the integral part of this, and I believe you can actually do this in, in either order. So the problem's cooked, but, you know, it's a Richard Pointer suggested puzzle. So if you do this in either order, if you had seen, you know, while the king is, is marching all the way up to the corner, 
that the square you're going to need to take away, why is, it doesn't want me to make colors anymore. All right. Is G6, is it changed? Is it, are they different buttons now on this new computer? Is it just, it's just been a long week. I, I can't remember the buttons. That's yeah, tough. Um, is G6 and you have your pawn, obviously, on this square. Then the king will be cut off, have to move away, and you'll be able to, to push the pawn. So excellent, a fantastic job. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm impressed that the audience was, was able to solve it. And now, so what happened to, okay, so Julian took an hour, he finally figured it out. And then he showed it to Var. He's like, okay, Var, here's a, here's a puzzle. Yeah, one second. Yeah, it's like, it's so easy. Just yeah, bishop d7, easiest thing he's ever done in his whole life. Now, eh, no. So then Var was like, well, here's another puzzle. And so then Var was like, so not only that, I mean, Var, he's, he's very well known for doing lots of studies. At the end of lots of his lectures, he's like, here's a study. Uh, just around the club, he'll just come by, here's a study. Um, so he does these all the time. He, you know, he's done thousands and thousands of studies. That's, that's his, his thing. You know, some people really like studies and it, and it goes a long way to help improving your chess. So he knew this theme pretty well. And he's like, well, here's another example. And so again, we have the defensive resources. It's white to move and win. But as black, if we think about giving our opponent the move, obviously I need to run to this, this corner. Somehow I can go over my pawn, under my pawn. Um, just so somehow I just have to get to that corner and secure a draw. So this is a little bit trickier because you have to take in mind that the black king has two separate paths to the queening square. But again, it's the same sort of thing that we're thinking about in our head. So in our head, our bishop is probably gonna move somewhere. Uh, I guess, I suppose you could also try marching in with the king, but we need to get the bishop out at some point so that we're able to push our pawn. So you can kind of think of it the same way. The bishop goes away. So we imagine what will black do? Probably go here. And then in our head, we got this position and then we can start to, to figure out the race here. So the black will keep approaching the pawn either by going to e6 and around the pawn that way or by going to e8 and running to the square behind the pawn. That's a win for white. It's a win for white. Okay, good, Mike, Michael, you solved it already? It's a win for white? I, I hope so, otherwise I got the puzzle wrong. It's supposed to be a win for white. There's no way what? There's no way black can catch it? Like, so I can, I can just make any move? Let me just make some random move. You're saying there's no way I can, I can get here? All right, I'll go this way. You wanna push? I'm in the box. Oops, I, I can't draw arrows anymore. So I'm in the box, so I, I should be able to catch it. You know, if you're just pushing, I can go either way. Yeah. And so I do catch the pawn, which is important. Uh, so I, I do just get there. So if you just move some random square, I will get there in time. Okay, so you're gonna try to beat me. You're gonna get to the corner before I do. Okay, here I go. Your turn. King E3. Okay, I will go underneath. King d4, okay, here I go. King c5. All right, I like my chances. And I, and I win the race, yeah. Oh, and I just stay in the corner <laughs> and there's, there's nothing you can do. Um, even though I have this pawn, so it's not, you don't have to immediately stalemate me if you <laughs> move somewhere. I don't know, you can do funny stuff because I still have a pawn, but uh, eventually it'll it'll be a draw. I just stay in the corner. But I mean, that's one of the things that when you first see this position, you want to think about. Because obviously if, if the white king makes it all the way here, well then it's, it's pretty easy. We can even use our, our bishop to go to like d6, force the black king to stay away, 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 get our pawn closer, get our king out of the way and make a queen. So that is one of the, you know, an important thing to, to consider. Bishop e7, okay. I assume we thought I'd go here. A4. All right, you're in my path, so I guess I'll take you. What? You don't like your chances anymore? Yeah, I think I'm, I'm gonna get there. So you are trying to figure out the path that the black king 
We'll take. Oh. So. Okay, bishop e7. Bishop e7. Bishop e6. Okay. So you could have gone to bishop there in, in one go, but you decided to go like that. Uh, I guess I'll. I guess I'll go this way. But I think I can go the other way too. In this position or earlier? Okay, so the oops, the thought is bishop c5. Okay, so you're. Is there any square in particular that you're you're trying to block out with this move? Are you you're gonna? Mm -hmm. So we're not horribly worried about th this pawn, because our king is definitely in the box. I mean, I'm <laughs> uh, well, black certainly doesn't have time to start pushing this this pawn because we'll we'll get serious about our own pawn and we shouldn't have too many issues. But okay, I think bishop c5 is an interesting try. Think about bishop d6. Okay, certainly seems to be annoying. It looks like it it does get some very good squares, but I go here. And I will take your bishop at some point. Bishop e5, you're a tricky guy. Unless I, I can take it too, right? <laughs> Just to laugh at you. And I'm in the box. Ah, but if I mouse slip, but if I mouse slip, then you're then you're in good shape. Ah, uh, what do I? What are you saying? In this, we'll go all the way back. We'll go all the way back. What about bishop d6 and bishop c7? Okay, and you're gonna go to c7. Okay, so I'll do the same thing. Do you want to do it immediately, or do you want to push your pawn? You want to go here immediately? Yeah. Okay. Really don't want me to go there. Okay. So I got a, a light squared path to the corner. So I'm just four moves away yeah. from achieving my dream here. And okay, so it's simple in the sense that there's not very many pieces on the board, but these are, are very, very difficult. You want to do king of two again? Okay, we'll re we'll relive king of two. We'll see the big improvement. Bishop d6. Now bishop d6. Okay, I will attack you. Bishop d8. You want to go b8? All right. All right. So I, again, I have a light squared path to the corner. So it is. You have to be really, really quick. Um, the black king is just running to that corner very, very quick. So you do need to figure out where you need to be to cut off the king. It's, it's incredibly difficult, so. Uh, so it just, the king is just too slow, so moving the king initially just doesn't work. We need to get the, the pawn into the game. The pawn has to get down there and make a queen as soon as possible. So, what's that? Bishop to c5. Bishop to c5, okay. I will go here. A4, okay, excellent move. Let me. Run the other way for a, for a little fun. I'll have a little fun. We'll go the other way. Yeah, okay. I go here. A6. Well, I can't take the bishop because now you're making a queen. But I don't... I don't need to win the bishop, I just need to get to the corner. Right. So I'm on my way. So now bring your king. As white, you want to bring the king closer? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try to get closer to that corner. Okay. And, and a funny move is this check, but it doesn't work. I just go here. <laughs> so we are getting bishop a7. Bishop a7. Very good. Okay. So this is sort of the idea. Okay, I'll wait. And you want to bring the king in, yeah. and then I want to go here. Uh. 
You want to move the bishop, let's see, in this position? You, you don't want to go here to laugh at me? All right, I go here. I'm in the corner. So we're getting very close. So I, my feeling is that, and again, if you're just joining us, I don't, I don't really know this puzzle. I'm, I'm figuring it out too. Um, I can run this way and make it to the corner. Cause again, if we just keep going here a little bit, looks like I do get there just in time. Cause even if you go here, I have a move like king to b5. So we're, we're getting very, very close. We're starting to get some of the ideas here on the board, but we're just not quite there. Bishop b4. Okay, I'll go here. Pawn a4. I, so, okay, I can go two ways. Let me go this way. I'll go here. Before a6, what would you like to play? B6. B6 or D6? Well, D6 then B6. Oh, yeah. yeah, so yeah, D6, I go here. I can also go there. You, I'm sorry, but if you, were, if you were at um, H5, the king was at H5, where was the bishop? In, in which position? Yeah. You wanted to go back? Let's go back to uh, bishop B4. Yes. Okay. And I went here. Now, wait, put the bishop. Bishop d6. I go here. Okay. Yeah. Shoot. Okay. And if, and try the other way. Okay. Good idea. Okay. Right. So I'm going to run up above the top this time. Uh huh. A5, okay. A6. Uh huh. A7. No, no, no. A7 here. Oh, yeah, I turned. Bishop on. Bishop C5, Bishop D4, Bishop D6. So we got Bishop C5, Bishop D6 suggested. Mm hmm. In this position? No. Uh, earlier, right here? Yeah. Okay, I will go here. Attack your pawn. So close, we're so close. But uh, we'll look at this a little more carefully. Uh, Bishop, Bishop A5. A5. Bishop A5. Oh, that works. Yeah, brilliant, and I'm, I'm cut off. Uh, so I can no longer make any more progress. Um, I, I don't know if he solved this one. So Julian, I think he got this puzzle. I wasn't really watching any of this, otherwise I would know a lot more about this puzzle. <laughs> uh, this is chess base 12. So that's good, because everybody always asks, so I might as well say it every video. We're using chess base. Um, it's chess base 12, which in my opinion is better than 13. Um, I've just had better experiences with 12 than, than 13. But, uh, but yeah, that's what we use for all of these, these lectures. Um, and this indeed is the thing. So, okay, but okay, let me just make a move, for example, here, just to see if, it's not so easy. It's not so easy. Let me just, just to make sure we understand the, the winning idea now. White to move. So, wait to move, yep. I'll just pass, basically. I played d6. Okay, then king f2. King f2, yeah. Um, okay. And the king just gets closer and closer, and eventually I, I have to move out of the way. And whenever I have to move out of the way, you push. Because now you're close enough and I can't stop you. So this is indeed the solution. Let's just go ahead and ask our, our buddy machine, see if it, whoa. Okay, and so again, you'll just run this through with, with our buddy, the engine. This is Fritz 11 for some reason. Um, so, okay, it, it wants to go this way, and it says that you're losing. It doesn't see the mate yet. 
Uh, so here's the, the computer line for if you run this way. And OK, it stops you, and it gives a really big number. And if, on the other hand, you were to run behind the pawn, the same sort of thing, um, a5 or bishop d6 seem to work. Uh, if you go here, which it doesn't do for some reason, which is funny, then bishop d6, as the audience did figure out, and if here, a6, mate and 14. So yeah, eventually you'll just bring your king a little closer. You'll, as soon as this king moves away on the next move, you, you know, you, you go make a queen. So that was perfect. So those are, are really tough. Um, unfortunately, that does do it for time for us tonight. Um, so I think I think these puzzles though too, because they're they're really tough. You know, that's it's so simple. There's just a couple pieces, but some of these can be some of the trickiest and most challenging things to do in chess. And I would encourage people that if if you are interested. You can just look up. There's like end game databases with thousands of studies. It's out there on the internet if you're if you're interested in doing this sort of thing. And and if you really put the time in, you know, you'll feel very good whenever you're able to solve any one of them, no matter how easy it is. Um, like an easy study means maybe you know it's easy for an expert or a master, but uh, it, they're very challenging.